Um, so uh, basically, um, uh, here we have uh, five different characters um, that mm -hmm. we're showing um, uh, on, on the demo. Uh, these top four we were showing at ExileCon um, uh, when we had it a few weeks ago. Uh, this last one here is the Druid, um, which is the one that we're mostly uh, sort of showing as the new character for Gamescom. Uh, and effectively, um, I guess one of the sort of primary things we want to get across uh, to people is the sort of different combinations between skills. Uh, this is like an instruction sheet that um, is uh, used for, you know, in the consumer booth, so you can sort of know uh, what you're doing. Um, but uh, I'm just going to uh, go to uh, one of the islands here um, and uh, in, in Act 4 and uh, show you what the droid can do. Great. Uh, so in Act 4, um, you have a boat and you sort of can go to whatever of the different islands you want. They have uh, all different like, little stories um, that you can uh, find out about. Uh, and in the demo, we've got um, a few of them. Uh, there's, there's more than just these ones, um, but uh, this is what we'll, we'll uh, do for the time being. Um, so this is the uh, Isle of Kin, um, which is an area that um, is a sort of like volcano, volcanic island uh, with a whole bunch of goblins on it. Um, and uh, as we get here, we can uh, show it off. Um, so this you. is uh, so this being the Druid, um, uh, it's kind of a hybrid spell a hybrid spellcaster. So you've got both spells, and you also have um, uh, a, be uh, a bear form. Uh, well, in fact, more the more than more than a bear form. You have other different animal forms. So the uh, thing people often hear for is uh, you know this kind of stuff. Oh, sorry, just, uh, is uh, this kind of stuff. So if you um, are in bear form, um, uh, you can uh, you know obviously run around. Uh, uh, using spells um, is uh, also sort of important. And what we want to really do is uh, make it easy for you to go from sort of spell casting mode to bear mode uh, very quickly. Um, so uh, what I can do here is um, if I slam down, um, uh, when you use uh, your bear form, uh, so when you use a bear skill, um, you uh, immediately just trans... Uh, 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 so when you use a bear skill, you turn into a bear and you, and, and you do the skill. Uh, when you use a, uh, a spell, you sort of automatically transform uh, and use the spell. So there's no like sort of having to manually transform from one to the other, you just use, this, uh, use, use the skill and it does it. Um, and uh, there's like a sort of slight time penalty, so if you uh, do multiple bear things in a row, um, that's going to be more efficient, because when you transform, there's like a little time penalty, about 500 milliseconds for the transform. Um, so uh, you kind of incentivize, therefore, to like, uh, 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 you know, like, be it, like, use some spells, do what you're doing there, then turn into a bear, um, and then do that too. What's happening there when he transforms is his material form is just becoming a bloody pulp? Uh, something like that. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. You can also, um, you, when you dodge roll, uh, you can instantly transform back uh, oh. into, your, into your character. Uh, you can even do it mid-transform if you want, so at any time you can just kind of abort what you're doing and, uh, and, 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 and do it. And it's really important because in PoE, we really wanted to, uh, PoE 2 that is, we really wanted to make sure that uh, any time you're feeling threatened, you can always just dodge roll to get out of there and uh, uh, you're never interrupted from doing that. And just, what's the cooldown timer on your uh, no, dodges? No cooldown, you can just oh, do it okay, uh, that's as long nice. as you want. So just uh, hold, hold the button I, down. I knew that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold the button down and roll, roll away uh, <laughs> to your heart's content. Um, it's actually, you know, originally when we made the bear, um, we made it so that um, you, you could dodge roll as a bear. And the animation was so fun that we decided to uh, to keep it, but just in town. So in your in town, you can uh, <laughs> you can uh, do your That's do your so role good. Yeah, it was it was so funny, but we're like we don't have anything um, uh, we don't we don't have anything to do with this, so we'll just uh, we'll throw it in town. So uh, anyway, uh, right. So right, uh, we're just doing a bridge version of what I do in that uh, demo room here. So effectively, what we want to make sure, as I said, is that we are, all the skills can be used together. So um, the slam here um, causes you to stun enemies, and I've got another skill here that um, does a roar. And if there's any stun enemies nearby, it gives you what's called an exerted attack down here. And exerted attacks mean that when you do another slam, it gets doubled. So you see here, um, I got two slams out of that. Um, so just to show you that again, it's slam, and then I do the roar, um, and then any other skill I use, including uh, this like rampage skill here, which does like a lot of slams, I can do like a huge amount of damage. So normally when I cast this, um, I uh, just get you know like slam, 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 slam. Um, but if I stun people, um, get the exert. I'm oh, sorry, wrong button. Uh, if I stun people uh, and get the exert, then when I'm doing it, it's uh, slam, 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 slam. You know, like it's, it's doubling the number. Um, and that's also really handy because um, I have a few other skills I can send over this So one of them here is called the volcano. So uh, when you make a volcano, when you slam down, it emits more projectiles every time oh. the slam goes off near it, uh, which is <laughs> quite fun. Cool. Um, and of course, uh, if I use uh, Rampage and then Rampage around the volcano, um, I'm getting a lot of slams. And then even more than that, if I do the, ex uh, the Exert combo, uh, get the Exerted Attack, um, cast a volcano, and then do a Rampage, uh, now I'm getting an absolute crap ton of projectiles, which is annihilates bosses uh, very easily. So um, this That's kind cool. of thing, um, yeah. Once again, we just really want to make sure that you get the feeling that you can, um, uh, 
used lots of skills because in POE 1 it was uh, very common that you just uh, right click and that was kind of all of your interaction, you know. Um, in POE 2 we want to make sure that there's a lot more uh, different things going on. Um, I also have um, some wolves uh, which I can use, uh, which is useful because the druid being a hybrid is not necessarily um, the most tanky character ever. Um, even though uh, you can turn into a bear, you're still, uh, you're not wearing a suit of armor, you know, like a, like a warrior would be, so uh, you do have to be a bit careful. And so that's where the stunning can be really useful to incorporate um, to, as a defensive measure. Um, but also because, um, uh, but also, yeah, things like wolves. Uh, also things like Tornado, which um, I don't have on this version of the character because um, that's in the demo version. This one's uh, designed for the players to play and uh, normally you get that as a quest reward a little bit later. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can't quite show you that. But um, yeah, I've got a Tornado skill that will suck monsters in. It's another sort of tactical option on the battlefield. Uh, that can be good. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, go on. What's happening on your health bar there? It looks like you're building up a shield. What, uh, yeah, yeah. What's the ability is triggering? Um, so the, uh, all intelligence characters, uh, sorry, that is to say uh, any armor you're wearing um, uh, for intelligence characters has energy shield. Um, so that's just a um, just like a sort a of standard. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just a thing that you have. Uh, so if I uh, don't take damage for a while, um, then uh, I get, uh, you know, Halo style uh, energy shield building up there. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, anyway. Um, right, so that's like a few of those interactions, um, but I guess another thing that is um, really uh, nice to have uh, in POE, you know, this being a, a game a, a lot about, um, uh, you know, uh, having interesting interactions, and uh, but also some automation is something that we uh, want to support, uh, just like in POE 1. So um, in the inventory here I've got a, a gem called Cast for Channeling, and uh, I've got my channeling skill, which is this volcano, where if I hold it down, uh, it like bursts out with more projectiles. Mm -hmm. And um, ideally what I'd like to be able to do is reduce the number of skills that I need to be using to kind of pull off the combos that I'm doing, because I want to be able to have my lightning going, I want to have my volcano going, I want to be rampaging around and all that stuff. I want to kind of be able to do that stuff together a bit more easily. Mm -hmm. um, so I can open the skill screen here and put um, cast ball channeling uh, in here. And uh, when I do that, um, I can, I'm going to take lightning storm and uh, put that in as well. Um, so uh, hang on, let me just uh, get rid of this annoying mm -hmm. guy here. Um, and now whenever I'm channeling, um, I'm able to cast Lightning Storm automatically. So I'm going to uh, enable that buff uh, here. And uh, now when I use my um, Volcano, um, uh, I get the Lightning Storm happening oh. uh, automatically. Cool. Uh, and this makes a little death zone here that's um, really, <laughs> really handy. And then of course once I've got that, I can like, you know, be, be slamming down with the bear and uh, be, be creating a really nice... Uh, Good zone damaging. control. Yeah, yeah doing, doing, doing a thing there. So um, uh, that's really nice. But um, we actually have another channeling skill. Oops, uh, we actually have another channeling skill on the bear, which is this uh, charge. And it's actually a bit annoying that it triggers the lightning storm as well because I'd rather have my little death zone that I'm trying to do. Um, and so that's why it's kind of useful that in PoE, uh, any buff that you have, you can choose which weapon sets uh, that you want to have that enabled for. So if I turn this off as a bear, I'm going to get my spirit back and disable oh. the buff. Uh, and now if I change to a human, uh, it, the, the buff goes straight back on automatically, change back to a bear and it falls back off again. So any buff you can just choose, like, you know, do I want this to apply, do I not want this to apply? Nice. And then the spirit that I'm reserving um, is uh, being consumed or not consumed. Yeah, that, um, that helps for clarity when you're like planning out your sure, abilities sure. or attacks. Yeah. yeah. So um, now uh, what I'm going to do is, because I want to automate more things, I'm going to get cast on melee stun. Uh, I'm going to put that in here, and then I get the summon wolf ability that I have, and I'm going to put cast on melee stun with summon wolf. And that means that if I stun enough enemies, um, I'll be able to cast uh, my wolf automatically. Um, which is really nice because now I don't have to remember to cast my minions all the time, yeah. it just kind of happens automatically. And uh, when the wolves first come out, they also do a howl, uh, which causes uh, them to do a crit debuff on monsters. Oh. So um, when I, I'm going to stun some guys, uh, there wasn't quite enough charge, so I'll uh, set 76% up the top there. There we go. So now I've got a wolf cast automatically. <laughs> and now as I'm just going through, um, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just getting my wolf summoned uh, without having to do anything. Uh, there should be another one there. Um, and then it's especially good to use it on um, cast while stunning because. Um, uh, that means I'm about to, I can use my exert, uh, sorry, I put that, I put that on the wrong keybind. Uh, some rampage, where's, uh, the war cry? There it is, sorry, I'm just wrong. Um, where, where were we? Okay, right. So, I can do my stunning, um, I get an extra wolf, um, uh, which I didn't get that time. No, I did, I just didn't notice. Okay, right, so, do that again. Get my stun, uh, get a wolf. Uh, and now that I've got that, uh, I can do my um, uh, exerted attack, you know, with the um, uh, with the roar, which I once again failed to do the timing right because I'm <laughs> in a bit of a funny setting here. Uh, do the roar, and then I can get the rampage. And the thing is, while I'm, while I'm doing that, um, all the monsters nearby are getting uh, that crit debuff on them. Um, mm -hmm. So it's kind of a way to get like more uh, for less, if you know what I mean. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so that's a, like a quick introduction to some uh, druid skills here. Um, but I can also go and uh, let me just find the boss for this area, and we'll see if we can utilize uh, all of those all of those elements. I'll just get some rage, uh, which I need to be able to do my rampage a little bit further, um, and we'll rampage over to where the boss is, uh, and uh, we'll do a boss fight here, um, and so you can see uh, what's going on. Uh, where is the boss? There's a problem with random levels, is you never know quite where the boss will be. It's okay. <laughs> uh, right, there it is. So um, this here is a, an arena that the goblins have made to sort of fight their beasts against each other. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, here we have uh, the blind beast, um, which uh, is one of their, an albino version, uh, who they've blinded. Um, so here I want to get the... Um, uh, you can see, like, utilizing all these different um, attacks here. Um, you melt. Yeah, yeah, I can actually <laughs> melt the boss, exactly. Um, because I'm getting that, that, um, it, the, the volcano is actually even better. Oh, I have to run away from that, though. Um, uh, the, it's even better against uh, large monsters because um, the, the projectiles hit, because the, the area that the boss takes up is larger, more of the projectiles of the volcano are going to hit um, the boss. Um, so that means that it's actually very advantageous. Oh, oh, no, get away from that, get away from that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah. It's very advantageous to, um, uh, to be able to um, uh, use Volcano against a, against a boss like this. Oh, you gotta focus up, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, your yeah, yeah. That's oh, yes, that's what, Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, Alright. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, right, there we go. Now, I need, I need to stun him. Okay, there we go. I've got the stun, get the exert, get the rampage. That's what I need to do. He's in the wrong place, though. Okay, no, he's alright. He's moving over. into it. He's oh, moving into it. Oh, there nice. we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, so there we go. Um, all right. Oh wait, now he's doing that. So what I want to do while he's doing that is do my, uh, is do my, uh, my, my channel. And then ideally I can pull him back in, and then, oh, I can probably just yeah, slam. Right yeah, I can probably just slam, 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 slam. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, there we go. So, um, yeah, that's the, uh, that's, that's the druid. That's awesome. Yeah. Can, can you show me a little bit more about the loot? Um, and, uh, there's probably not, like, a huge amount to talk about there at the moment. I mean, it's very similar to Path of Exile 1 in that regard. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of changes under the hood. Um, but uh, I guess one thing that we do want to make sure of is that in, um, in uh, PoE 1, uh, we had a problem with, like, way too many white items on the ground, this kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Uh, in PoE 2, we really want to make, improve the loot. Um, uh, there's a few different ways we're addressing that. One of them is gold, uh, which we added. Uh, another one, though, is that um, we uh, the effect of uh, um, what's it called uh, 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 item rarity um, uh, does a lot more uh, now. So that what that means is that bosses are much likely to get dropped better items rather than more items, uh, which is uh, a, a better thing for the player. Uh, it means you don't have as much spam uh, everywhere. So um, yeah, uh, this particular boss dropped a. Um, uh, an attribute gaining uh, quest oh. item, so I can use that and get some more attributes. Um, cool. So that's a reason to do one of these uh, side bosses. Um, and then, if you like, I can go to a different character class and show you um, some other stuff there. If I you would like. love that. Let's try sure, sure.